Oh, he Minotaur. That's five head play. Yo, what's poppin' everybody? My name is Smojo and welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel and enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that sub button, leave a like on the video, and comment down below what video you think I should do next. Without further ado, let's get started. We are gonna be jading in PvP. Now, I know a lot of people hate jades in PvP. You know, if you're a PvP, there's two things you hate. You hate jades and you hate ice wizards. Those are the two things. If you're jade or you're ice wizard, you get hate. And because of that, I think I want to make a video of me jading in PvP. Now, disclaimer, I have no clue how to PvP at all. I'm absolute dog shit, okay? I am trash. I am horrible at PvP. However, I'm a good jader in PvE, so I'm going to take my jading skills in PvP, I mean in PvE, and then apply them to PvP and just see how we do. I still have my energy gear on, so just just, just give me a little bit here. All right, so here is my regular degular jade gear. Our stats is 85% uh, universal resistance, and in some, because of my pet, uh, we have no damage, a little bit of accuracy, um, no critical rating, some block, some outgoing and incoming. So we're gonna have to change this up just to fit our PvP style. First of all, I want to change my wand to be more useful. I feel like I am going to get hit, and I will get low health, even though I'm jading. There's, 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 you know, there, there's, there's, there's strike, you know, there's pierce, you know, it's just, there's a lot of things that can hurt me while I'm a jade. So one of the wands that I want to use is this one right here. The reason why I want to use this one is purely because of the may cast. If they put up a tower shield, I can use this wand and I can possibly get a tower shield myself, which is a win-win situation for me. I think I'm keeping the, uh, gear the same like the boots the robe and the hat i think i'm gonna just keep those the same just because they're just a, the regular degular go-to jade gear i don't think i'm gonna change those at all now i do feel like i will be healing like a lot so we're gonna be putting on the life amulet instead of going for the the extra five or three percent resistance i think i'm gonna just go for the, the, the life amulet now here's a tricky one i don't know who i'm going to be queuing against so when it comes to the ring I've heard that Storm is really good against Jay, so I could put a 17% resistance to Storm Ring on, or I could go with Stone of the other side and get that nice outgoing. Actually, you know what? I think that's what I'm gonna do. I can use this, put the, the get me some outgoing here, and then for my pet, I could keep this pet on just to get that 50% universal resistance, or I could go full blown try hard immune against storm and use this pet right here or i could put this on 15 percent universe resistance have that outgoing make as sanctuary with make as mend i got options i'm actually not very sure i think i think i'm gonna I'm a stick with my my mega gobbler pet all right so at the end we got that 80 percent universal resistance um and we got that 71 percent outgoing so we're gonna be in his for the long haul we're gonna try to prolong the battle as long as possible and hopefully they just flee and we win i think that's usually how the matches between jades go is you either take three hours to kill the jade or you just flee or something something like that all right i'm going to be using the interstellar warrior deck because that's like the only deck that i kind of want to use mainly because it gives me this rebirth here which i don't know if i'm actually going to use in pvp but if i need it then you know i might as well use it these are the cards that i have and all of these cards need to go bye bye because we need to do this whole thing all over i know for a fact that i'm going to want to pack as many heals as possible um anything like pigsy sanctuary anything like that i think i want to pack a lot of those and i also have luminous reaver which might actually come in handy uh, if they're about to hit this might be my only option as for a hit but we're not going to be focused on hit so i'm not going to carry any enchants for it but we are going to be carrying radicals and primorals just for that just for our healing and just because we have depth on our side i think it would come in handy if we carry a few empowers um along with a few jujus maybe and i know bubbles are like a thing in pvp so i kind of want to do doom and gloom but that's hurting me as a jade because i will be trying to heal and if i do doom and gloom then it might not help as much the only thing i wish i had was set shields my main threats i believe uh is going to be storm and fire uh mainly because i don't have resistance to those two schools on my pet i have balance life and death so i'm really worried about storm and fire so more than likely i will have to probably go train shields for both of those classes 
or maybe learn tower shield or something like that but just in case you never know i'm gonna pack like some legion shields just in case i think i had like another I have life and then i have death as well what is death life and myth no i, I might as well just use up all the slides i want to i want to fill this up i want to fill the entire thing up all the way to the brim now i do have three shining points to spin so i think this might be a bad thing to do but you know who cares right we're gonna get the storm shoe okay we're gonna get it just because i'm super scared the storm or I'm, I'm super scared about storm we just need to figure a way to fit into our deck okay so this is the deck that we rock and some of you pvp gods might be screaming at me telling me i'm trash because of my deck already you're probably right i have no clue what i'm doing but we're gonna have fun you know so we're gonna head over to the tc shop so i can buy me some uh some tower shields i really need tower shields I want to rock some tower shows and i also want to pack some sanctuaries just so i can win the bubble wars you know all right so this is my deck so i, I just i went in okay this is this is what i did all right I, I bought i bought a bunch of stun blocks okay i got a bunch of tower shields okay i got a, i got some volcanic shields because why not i got my i got my sanctuaries and i got my triad because i think these are good i think and i got my fortifies because i don't even have the, the fortify spell all right so there's that and then our regular deck we got the weaver we got the, the get the heals we got the legion shields we got the cycle of life some empowers some plagues some virtual plays some sacrifices some bad jujus we got some storm shows and then we got this guy because i don't have anything with shadow pips so i mean you might as well put this in there i, I guess i guess it'll help I mean, it might help but yeah and then we got that as well down there um in my opinion if i'm being honest i don't know if i have that many uh heals I really don't know i have like eight heals maybe you know i have to really focus on not taking damage and if i oh i have these never mind i have these heals yeah we might be okay we might be good we might be good all right all right so we went to a realm that's not popping so i don't get no hate <laughs> while i'm here just chilling you just popping over oh, you, you stupid jade get out of here you know <laughs> something like that so yeah we're gonna just gonna hop into a, our very first match i've never pvp'd before I'll show you guys my stats. Like, I've never done any type of PvPing ever. Like, ever, ever. So, we're just, this is gonna be the very first time I've actually done any ranked PvP. I've done, like, you know, the practice over there, but we're just gonna do some ranked. Oh, this is tournaments. Where's the. Okay, okay, we're gonna do some, we're gonna do some ranked PvP. All right, and uh, fingers crossed that we do good. And if we don't, let me know in the comments what I could have done better. And, you know, maybe next episode we'll do that. So, yeah, let's do it. I think people press a button over here and it's like oh it's quick join oh here we go yeah yeah, yeah. this is what we want yeah yeah yeah, yeah. what does try all opponents mean find opponents faster by allowing match painting to search outside your skill rank yeah let's not do that <laughs> let's not do that how long does this usually take i know when i watch like other people's pvp videos it doesn't take them long at all to find like a like a person to, to fight all right so i'm gonna do this try all opponents things and everything just because this was taking forever so yeah let's, let's see what happens now oh we found somebody okay let's do this let's do this we can't, we can't do anything. okay okay what, what, what they rocking what they is it like a death wizard maybe i don't know what that is devin dark hand isn't there a way i can check if i just like go to the i don't have the chat thing all right devin my man you got a ghost on you so you are a veteran oh this is not gonna be easy all right so um um okay um i think the first thing i want to pull is stun block i uh this is not looking good i think that's the first thing i want to try to pull at yes 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 okay here we go here we go here we go all right we're starting off good all right we're using our stun block that's the first thing that people do in pvp for some reason and we're gonna do it too we're just gonna you know follow the crowd and and hopefully everything goes well all right now we gotta i don't know what to do here i'm thinking i just tower shoot out what was he what is this yeah he's definitely a death wizard definitely a death okay so he's gonna death blade i have some resistance against death i have a little bit of resistance against death so i'm assuming that a bad thing to do here would be to tower shield now i i've heard that a good strategy for death wizards is to blade stack i've heard this a very good strategy for them to blade stack so now that i know he's a death wizard i can just get rid of everything that i have for storm i think i'm just fortify here because it protects me for four rounds and i think he's going to hit before four rounds i think what is this i'm assuming this is going to be another blade it is going to be another blade so yeah i'm assuming he's just going to blade stack into like some really strong spell or whatnot 
Now I could double tower shield just in case he does have death minotaur. I don't need another stun black. I don't need that. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna tower shield here. Now if he does minotaur, it will go through my first tower shield. But if I have the second one out, then it wouldn't really matter unless he hits after that. This is gonna be another blade, isn't it? Yeah, he's just blade stacking. Okay, okay. I think I think since I know what he's doing, kind of fairly, not really, but I can try to know what he's doing. Um, I don't think I'll need another stun block. Damn it! Oh my god! I think I should just tower shield again. Honestly, should I? Should I not? I think I am. I think I just go to tower shield here. I really don't know what I'm doing, bro. I have no clue what I'm doing. Oh, I can juju him. I can juju him. If he doesn't do anything this round, I could definitely juju him. I'm going to lose 25% of my health, but it should be fine because I could just heal right back. Oh, he's hitting me. What is this? Oh, it's that shift spell, isn't it? Oh, it's not. What is this? I've never seen it. Is this a death spell? It went through my first one. Okay. He did that just to take out my tower shield, I'm assuming. Oh, and Dina did that. How much, does, how much damage does that do? I'm so lost. Uh, I can't tower shield anymore. That's going to take out my other tower shield. Now, I could bad juju him. I'm assuming he's going to try to hit next round. I do have Triog in my deck. I could juju him. There's no more tower shield. I think I'm going to just juju him. Yeah, I think I'm going to just juju him. It might be a bad move, but he's not going to hit next round. I could just put my Fortify back up, I believe. He's probably like, what the hell? <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm kind of liking how my deck looking right now. I don't want to discard anything, you know? Oh, yeah. So he's going to wand hit. A shadow one hit. I think I'm a fortify again, and he's probably gonna hit me next round, and then I'll just heal. I think that's the move. I don't think he's gonna do that much damage. I have like 80 something resistance to death plus my fortify, so I don't think he's gonna do that much to me. Okay, so this should be the round that he hits. I'm assuming. I don't know if I should draw anything. I got tower shows up and everything like that. Is he blading again? Oh, is that a doom and gloom? I really need to pull a sanctuary now then. That was a five head play. I could do that, but it's going to be over next round anyways. Should I? Because if I tower shield... No, that's going to hit me. And then I can tower shield. Right? And it won't affect me, I don't think. Because this is going to be the last round for it, right? Or does it last long? Okay, yeah, it's the last round for it. So, yeah. A tower shield is five head play here, I think. I think. Now I need to search for a sanctuary somewhere. And it's not popping up at all. I don't know if I'll need that in power. Is this another blade? It is. What should I do here, bro? He's not gonna do that. Oh my god, I cannot pull it to save my life. I really can't. Should I tower shoot again? I think I should. I think I should tower shoot again. I really need to pull a sanctuary to get that doom and gloom out. That's what I really need to do. I don't oh man, he's not giving me a chance. Now he's gonna strike. Which means he's probably going to double hit, I think. He might hit this turn to get rid of one of my tower shields or something and then hit next turn. That's what I'm assuming. Don't need my stun blocks. I might need that fortify. I think I'm going to just tower shield, bro. Like, no cap. Can't get rid of that. And I got another stun block. Yeah, I think I should just tower shield. I'm going to just tower shield. <laughs> I'm going to legit just tower shield, bro. Don't need those. Yes, I got a Sanctuary. I could use that next round. Use a Sanctuary next round. He's probably going to hit. Get rid of Doom and Gloom. And I can Sanitar to heal after he hits. 
Or should I fortify next round? I really don't know. All right, so this is going to be a death hit. It's going to be a bone dragon, so I'm definitely going to need the heal. And he's probably going to hit again since he does have a shy next round. I'm assuming... I wonder how much damage this is going to do. If this does a lot, I lost. Let's see. 400. I completely forgot everything about the overtime for Bone Dragon. I think the overtime for Bone Dragon is really good. But he's definitely about to hit again. Now, what should I do here? Should I Sanctuary to get rid of the Doom and Gloom? Or should I Fortify? I think I should Fortify, Sanctuary, and then heal. Because my Fortify is about to go away. I don't know if I'll need this reshuffle. I do have another one in my deck. I could triage. I could triage. And then I could keep a tower shield on me. All right, true. Okay, we did that. Don't need you. I think I should fortify next round. Fortify, sanctuary, heal. Or should I just Sanctuary and heal? Because he's about to hit me again. Oh, he Minotaur. That's five head play. I forgot they can Minotaur. That gets rid of my shield and then it's like a full-blown big boy hit. Oh, I mean... This one will do like a lot. Ooh, that did a lot. Now what should we do? We can't heal because of the doom and gloom. Can he hit again? Should we fortify? Should we sanctuary and then heal? I actually don't know. I actually don't know. He has two pips and a shadow. He can use a shadow spell. But a four pip spell will kill me. Even if I fortify, it will probably kill me. We're going to try. We're going to just do it. We're just going to do it. We're going to sanctuary. He's probably going to hit this round. I think. Yeah, I would have hit this round. So maybe I should have fortified instead. Oh, I forgot. That's a four pip shadow spell. Maybe I should have fortified instead. Would this have killed me even if I fortified? I actually don't know. Dang, how do Jade to Jade in PvP, bro? I don't even know. That was a good game, though. It was good, y'all. That match was absolutely crazy. So I'm in the middle of editing this video right now. I did two matches. I went against a death and then I went against a life. Um, with the life battle, it lasted 30 minutes long. And right now, the video is looking about 50 minutes long. And I'm pretty sure no one's going to sit here and watch a 50 minute long video. So we're going to be cutting the video short. I will be posting the other half of the video sometime later next week or this week. So be in tune for that. I just don't think you're going to sit here for 50 minutes to watch a video. So like, yeah, we're going to be cutting it short. I'll show you guys the next match in another day or something like that other than that hopefully you guys enjoyed the video i'm sorry for cutting it short i'm guessing we're going to be doing one battle every single time we do jade pvp something i don't know we'll think about it but yeah either way i hopefully you guys enjoyed please leave that like comment sub i'm sorry again and thank you for watching have a great day and peace <laughs>